Hi, it's Sonia Fox, Web Technology Specialist with NDSU AgCom. Wanted to show you some tips and tricks to uh, getting around on the web a little more quickly than you might be. Uh, in working with people, I'm noticing that some people are putting in a full, uh, formally structured uh, URL for pages they want to get to. So for instance, they have to type in www.ag.ndsu.edu uh, slash uh, extension. So that's a lot of um, information to type in and you're assuming you're not going to have any typos and you're assuming that you know the website that you're going to. In this case, I'm pretty sure we all know um, this w uh, website um, by heart. So yes, in fact, it will get you there after typing all that good stuff in. But I wanted to share with you that all the browsers have search functionality within that, so you don't need to have that formal structure of a URL that starts with www. And then again, having to remember, is it HTTP? Is it HTTPS? We don't have to worry about all that because we could simply just type in any browser. So let's say, for instance, that we um, want to go to a website and this goes again beyond our extension website so if we wanted to visit um, let's say our aging well website we can just uh, if we search on it in the browser we can get there uh, as uh, much more quickly another thing I see people doing that might cause a little extra clicks um, is that they're going to the NDSU website to access some of our extension pages. So at the bottom of the NDSU website, you may be aware that at the um, there's this uh, alphabetical category. So I'm seeing a lot of people go to this NDSU site, clicking on the E for extension. Um, you'll notice that I don't even see extension on here, so I have to page down. Yes, in fact it is here, but that's just a little extra typing and scrolling to get to the extension service. So um, another um, when Another site that people are visiting from the NDSU website is they tend to access their webmail from here. So yes, you can in fact do that, but it's just an extra step having to go out to that NDSU website. Um, I'm not sure how many of you are using bookmarks, but they're very helpful and get to get you to where you're going a lot quicker. So you'll see here towards the top of my page, this is my bookmark tool toolbar, and these are frequently visited sites that I use. So um, I like to have these up here for quick access. I don't even have to type anything in here into the browser. I can get to where I'm going right here. And all the browsers have functionality on how to use bookmarks. And I'll include that link at um, in this uh, video description too. So um, <coughs> Wanted to mention too, also with mobile devices, it's possible to add a web shortcut to your mobile device. Um, instead of having to open up a browser on your phone, type in information to a website that you want to visit, um, it's really quick to add a web shortcut to your mobile device, whether it's iPhone or Android. And I will include a link to that in this video description as well. So if you have any questions about um, getting around quickly on the web or more quick than you might be doing right now, please feel free to give me a call or a Bob Bird as well.